Sometimes you thought you need to lose weight and have looked to the latest diet trends to help you through. Atkins, paleo, or just eating fewer calories. It's worked for others, so why wouldn't it work for you? So you start on the diet, cutting calories, and it's working. You're losing weight. But then something happens. Those few pounds you lost at the beginning start creeping back on. So eventually, you're in the same position you were in six months ago, looking to the latest diet trend to help you lose weight again. In this week's video, I'm gonna share with you why diets don't work and give you a more realistic approach so you can start losing weight today while helping you to stay at the weight that you want to stay for the rest of your life. Hi, my name's Philip and welcome to my channel, Therapy in London. If this is your first time here and you wanna see weekly videos showing you how you can be happier, more confident and better prepared to live in the world today, please do think about subscribing. And if you like this video and you feel you've learned something from it, please do give it a thumbs up. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing you've tried a few diets in your time. Diets promise a short, quick, easy fix to lose the weight that you've been carrying around for so long in an easy, short space of time. No wonder so many of us try them. Now let me ask you a question. If diets really work, why wouldn't everyone be on them? Why do we need to try two, three, four diets every year? The reason is that diets don't give you the result that you want, which is essentially to lose weight and stay thin forever. Dieting is part of a $20 billion a year industry. So it makes sense to make a new diet every once in a while. So we buy the book, we try it out, we lose a bit of weight, but then it doesn't work, so we have to buy the next diet book, and so on and so on. So, do these diets work, or are they just a part of a money-making gimmick? Well, it's easy to blame diets, food, or indeed yourself. But the real reason is that as a society, we're looking for a quick fix. We're looking for the easier option. To lose weight and keep it off, you need to make a change in the way you relate to food and yourself. Putting on weight has taken years, so why would it only take eight weeks to lose half your body fat percentage? And say you go on a diet and you lose some weight, how long can you sustain that diet for and keep the weight off? Another week, another eight weeks, another six months, or indeed the rest of your life? So I ask you, how would you feel being on a diet for the rest of your life? I'm guessing not too good, right? You enjoy food, you enjoy eating. You won't wanna restrict yourself for longer than you feel necessary. What I'm gonna to propose to you now is nothing new, nothing radical, but I know it works. And the magic formula is to evaluate and change what you eat on a daily basis whilst incorporating exercise into your life. And this is not a quick fix. You're not gonna change your diet and start exercising for a week or two and expect all the weight to come off and for it to stay off. We're now talking about a change in your lifestyle for the rest of your life. To be blunt, you need to start curbing your eating while exercising at least three times a week. And even then, is that enough? You may not realize the amount of calories that you're eating in food on a daily basis that you don't even realize is bad for you. A good example, an example that I use, a venti latte from Starbucks is 250 calories, which on the one hand doesn't sound like a lot, but it would take you about 20 minutes to burn off that many calories on a treadmill. So that's five coffees a week at 250 calories works out to 1,250 calories, which is about half your daily calorie intake. And that's just your daily coffee break. Think about how you cook and what you eat on a daily basis. How much sugar, butter, cream is in your food. By thinking about what you're eating and how you're cooking it, you're gonna be able to assess if you really need it, allowing you to reevaluate what you eat and come up with new recipes and new ideas of what to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. For example, instead of having a venti latte, why don't you try having a tall Americana? Give it 20 days, and after that, you won't even crave the sugar, sweet, cream that you're so accustomed to in your food at the moment. Next is exercise. You need to plan when you're gonna exercise and stick to it. It's not enough that you say you're going Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Look in your diary and schedule in time and not break it. In the same way that you'd schedule in a friend and not break your promise to go and meet them at a certain time, so too you need to do that with exercise. And also know what exercise you're gonna do. Pick a sport, know which gym you're gonna go to, what you're gonna do at the gym on the Monday, on the Wednesday, on the Friday. Have a direction, have a purpose, because otherwise you'll be walking around the gym not knowing what you're doing, wasting time and energy. What I'm trying to show you in this video is that losing weight and getting fit is a lifestyle choice. It's not something that you can do for eight weeks and expect magical results from, even though all the diet and exercise gurus will tell you otherwise. There's no quick fix. Start making it a priority. Remember, if you wanna see weekly videos showing you how you can be happier, more fulfilled, and better in control of your life, please do remember to subscribe. And if you feel you've learned something from this video, please do remember to give it a thumbs up. All the best, I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care, bye-bye.